Malima's Tale is a play written by Lynn Nottage, and it's a story about Malima, one of the last big tuskers in Africa that's been poached. And the story basically, the soul of Malima just follows its tusks throughout the ivory trade. Malima is an elephant and we see his journey and the lengths that people will go to um, to get his ivory. Malima's Tale is such an important story. The bottom line is they estimate 96 elephants are being killed every day. And what this tale does is it helps create a connection to a different audience. There's an old saying that says, in the end, we protect what we love, we love what we understand, and we understand what we're taught. I'm excited to work with um, Herman Payne, uh, who is one of the great choreographers and movement directors in our community and nationally. We have to think how an elephant moves metaphysically and also just in its physical way. I'm so excited and thrilled to work with a group of Miami's most incredible artists and in bringing this story alive. This is an extraordinary opportunity as an actor because you get to play multiple characters, multiple dialects from across the world. It's heartbreaking because Malima doesn't get to speak up for himself. Lynn Nottage is my favorite writer because for one, she writes voices for black artists and she tells their stories in such a compelling way. Malima's tale is a beautiful way to tell a story, to connect people, to make them care about elephants, to hopefully want to protect them and to learn what they can do to help protect them in the future. It'd be a very sad thing if we tell our great-grandchildren you know, one day that there used to be elephants here. Using the artistic approach, using a play to connect to a different type of audience is so important in helping to save these majestic animals. Expect to be challenged. Expect to, uh, to have your, your brain going. Honestly, I would say to expect the unexpected because it isn't like a play that you've seen before. Listening.